Right, what I'm trying to get Martin to do is do a demonstration for the video how he can actually ask my station from his end uh, various commands and I haven't actually seen this work but I've noticed that it has happened. Um, this has been uh, running in the background while I was uh, not watching the screen and he has been receiving, here we go, it's coming back now. He has been receiving the replies, so, okay, here we go. There you go. Right, I haven't done anything there, this is automatic. So this is how he can ask my station various different things. Right, so I'll reply to him. Um, thanks, Martin. That worked well and I got it on video. I will ask your machine something now. Let's just see what he says because he's replying to me. Okay, just bear with me a minute. He's asking something so I've had to clear the screen. Yeah, I think I missed that one, so. Right, he's asking, he's querying my machine again. Right, so he's asked my location. Now this is an automatic process, so I don't have to do anything. And how he's doing this, he can see my call sign on his screen up there. And he right clicks it and queries my location. Okay. That's fantastic. That worked very well. Because my machine went into auto mode. Alright, so I'll send him that. Okay. That worked well. I got it on video. I'll ask your machine something now. So once I've sent that, hopefully it'll stop transmitting. I can show you a demonstration or for the video um, how I can query his machine to find out where his location is. Now, as you can see, he's not told me where he lives. I know where he lives because I've been speaking to him on Facebook. He's in Bedford, but I'll ask his, um, I'll ask his machine in a second when this has stopped transmitting. Right, now... What we do, we put his call sign in there and then we query, let's query his location. Okay, enter. So this is what he'll see on his screen. He'll see like I was seeing him. I've queried his location. Now he will receive that and his machine will go into auto TX, auto transmit. And in a second or two, as long as he received my query OK which he possibly didn't because it's not replying yet so let's try again the RTTY is still there he maybe can't hear me or see me Now the at sign is obviously the uh, the code for his location. You see, his machine has got to read it correctly. He's got to receive the whole command line, so to speak. So with that RTTY, um, with that RTTY operation in the background, it may be that he's not actually receiving it clearly.
Right, I can see what's happening as well. Another feature of this software is if the software can detect a transmission within that band scope, it won't allow me to transmit. Which is a good thing, but I'm not quite sure whether the whether the other station's hearing it because it's very ah. Now, did he pick it up? No copy. Now then, let me try it again. It's definitely that station that's causing the trouble, isn't it? Now then, did he receive that correctly? It looks like he may have done. Yes, he did. There you go. Purton Hall near Bedford. There you go. Fantastic. His machine copied that correctly. He's uh, also give his grid reference. So, oh, done that twice. Um, queries heard list it looks like we may have to give up because our TTY is splattering straight across the top of our frequency quite annoying really because they must be able to see this on their waterfall and the trouble is while they're doing that I'm not don't think I'm going to be able to get um, Martin's computer to uh, receive this command all in one go it's got to be it's got to be received in one go otherwise it won't respond and transmit back now then did it work it looked as though yes yes it did right so that's his that's his list i've i've just queried his list to see who he can hear so he's only actually hearing me. So. If that RTTY contester or whatever uh, would move frequency, which he should, um, I would try another image because we're getting a good signal. We're getting a good signal this evening on 80 meters. So if he, if he only left the frequency alone, it's only very narrow bandwidth this. Oh, excuse me. Um, Has it gone quiet? No, nope. I can still hear something in the background, albeit further up the band, so. So I'll wait for Martin's reply and then we may, we may try again.
another picture. Here we are. Good copy. Let's try again. Oh, look at that, it's come straight back. That really is annoying. Thought he was going to say that. Yeah, try the picture again. All right, so it sends a message first, and then this green progress bar indicates how much it scans it very similar to SSTV or uh, what's the software called MMSSTV uh, works in a very similar way as it scans the image transmits in lines so it's halfway through low res image 48 seconds uh, I mean on the internet I've seen some of the high res images text 192 seconds and HD image takes 768 seconds. Now they are really good images, but you'd, we would need a really clear band for that to uh, work properly. Okay, we're nearing the end of the transmit for that one. Let's see if he uh, received it. It's still there. It is a shame that because um, I mean you can understand it if it was a, a phone fr uh, frequency where people aren't using a bandwidth, uh, a, sorry, a waterfall. Um, you could understand them not, you know, not seeing it. But uh, with a waterfall, we can quite clearly see there's a signal on there. You would think you would move frequency. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the video because my phone's just gone into low battery mode, so uh, at least that's sort of uh, given a pretty decent demonstration of um, FSQ call working. Yeah, the RTT signal's getting a lot stronger now, so it seems we're going to have to give up for the evening. So, right, 7-3 from Kev to E0LYF.